So our phone screener, Kevin, is really, really, he confessed to us yesterday. He's like, a, he's afraid to fail. He's got a fear of failure. And most people do have a fear of failure. Let's get Kevin back on here. Hey, guys. How are you? Good, man. How are you? Uh, okay. I'm doing good. So Chris- no, you're doing great. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm, I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> Don't mess up this segment, dude. Do not mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> I go, okay. <laughs> Kristen had a very interesting take on how we should make you feel better about your fear of failure, especially when it comes to radio or careers, right? Yeah. So, Kevin, you had um, a, a little bit of a mishap the other day with a phone call. Not the end of the world. <laughs> and with every mistake, there's a lesson to be learned. So I thought misery loves company. Why not all of us share our biggest mistakes and failures in radio, and hopefully by doing so, it'll make you feel better. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he seems scared. He I really mean, thinks he's going to screw it up. <laughs> I think by the end of this five minutes, you'll realize if our career survived these, then yes. you putting one or two calls through that really, truly sucked, Kevin. I mean, bad. <laughs> Yeah. That Bert, I'm kidding. Um, that it, yeah. it, it's not the end of the world, man. Your career is fine, and it's just two yeah. calls, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, uh, we'll see if I feel okay. better. <laughs> All right, trust me, Kevin. Trust me. I since this was my idea to put ourselves out there and put ourselves on blast with our mistakes, I will gladly go first. Okay. All right. So, Kevin, my biggest mistake and failure in radio. We got to go back towards the Mm -hmm. beginning of my career, and this was back in the early 2000s, and I was working for a legendary rock station, WEBN, in Cincinnati, okay? And this station, even while while I was there, won multiple Mark Horney Awards, was always the number one station in the market, and the number one morning show, the Dawn Patrol, okay? So I was the assistant promotions director, not even the promotions director, the assistant promotions director. So I'm doing all of the dirty work and heavy lifting. And we were at Oktoberfest in downtown Cincinnati. And of course, we have a tent and it's set up and we're doing bobbing for bobbleheads. Mm -hmm. Our station mascot was a frog, right? And we had these frog bobbleheads that were coveted. Listeners were freaking out over them. So it's Oktoberfest. We have this this table set up and a giant um, metal bin filled with water. And there's hot dogs and sausages and all these other type of things in there. And you had to go to the bottom and pick the sausage. Because there was only one type of sausage that would sink to the bottom. <laughs> so you had to go get that sausage at the bottom and pull it out in order to get a bobblehead. So we are doing this throughout the day. Everything's going fine. It's me and the dude that are there. And this one guy comes up and he comes up and he grabs a hold of the table and he goes in to Bob for his bratwurst to get his bobblehead and the table collapses and bratwurst and hot dogs go everywhere. (laughs) Water goes everywhere. He's on the ground. And then he stands up and he looks at me and he goes... I think something happened. <gasps> the table had cut off half his finger. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, and it's just on the ground with all the hot dogs? Exactly. No oh, way. Find it. Is this true? <laughs> yes, oh, we couldn't find it. I remember it. this story. I, we couldn't find it because there was little hot dog pieces everywhere, and we didn't know which one was the finger. <laughs> hey, finger looking like a sausage. Oh, so I <laughs> panic, and I scream, and I turn. And I froze. Like, I didn't do anything. He starts screaming. Thank God there was a nurse in the audience. She's screaming, find the finger and put it on ice. Find the finger and put it on ice. So then this little golf cart bambalance comes up, takes (laughs) him and his girlfriend, and they found the piece of the finger and they put it on ice. And he went off and... They were not able to uh, reattach it. They actually had to cut it down a little further because (laughs) it was such a bad cut. And multiple Ah. lawyers were involved with the company, and there was a settlement. Even though I did have them sign a waiver, that didn't hold up, and I lost the company 
a significant amount of money. Why would you oh, go man. first with that story? Yeah. No, <laughs> one's, no one's stopping that. There's an amputation <laughs> involved. Nobody, what are we supposed to do now? You were clearly the main event. Like, what <laughs> you do hey. I mean, who's going I, next? I wanted to make him feel better. That was my biggest mistake in radio. Now I feel like I gotta make something up. <laughs> Look, this wasn't my biggest mistake, but it was my latest mistake, and it just happened last week. So, Kevin, I needlessly brought up a political conversation on The Burt Show, um, and when I did that, through I mean, it, there were vibrations through the network, man. Uh, it was needless. It was uh, divisive. I spent the day on the phone with our program director, our general manager, the guy that runs all the top 40 stations. Um, there was a memo set out to the entire company, and I had to call market 143 and get on the phone with the program director. And this is such a small town. The program director, I'm guessing, is also like the sheriff, and he's also <laughs> like the town barber, and he's probably running pump number two in this town. And I had to get my ass chewed by this guy for half an hour because he didn't feel like that was the kind of material that he wanted on his radio station. And dude, that was just last week and we're probably <laughs> going to lose that affiliate. I'd be surprised actually if we're on right now. So <laughs> it'll happen every week. Davi, what do you got? We were just supposed to bring like our top one or a list. <laughs> Just one. He yeah. just, we just need one example, Dobby. Yeah, we're okay. all just trying to get out of it because Tristan's was so good. My I bad. mean, <laughs> if we're being honest, I think I have more cease and desist filed against me than anyone else on the show right now. <laughs> <laughs> I might be wrong, but I doubt it. <laughs> Just Bad water. Bad water. I will not confirm or deny that. And I'm not going to go into why. <laughs> legally, you can't. Right. I'm ceasing. End of system. Mo, what you got? Oh, uh, man. I, I try to forget most of them. I've made so many. But but the one I, I think that comes to mind that I remember being most embarrassed by happened immediately. Like, it, was, it happened so fast. And it was when I got the job, I was so excited that the first thing I did <laughs> was go on Instagram and post a picture saying, telling everyone, hey, I did a thing. I got a job. And and Bert had to text me like, dude, no one even knows you. Take the picture down. What are you doing? <laughs> like, no, <laughs> we, we haven't told anyone yet. You, you're ahead of yourself. I was like, my bad. I had to call my mom and my sisters. Guys, I got to take everything down. I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was a little ahead of myself. That was, uh, that was pretty embarrassing, man. I was, I was embarrassed. So, Kevin, until... You cut somebody's finger off while you are answering <laughs> phones. You've got nothing to worry about. Okay, yeah. I, I'm just I'm I'm still upset that you cut a finger off and I got fired for onion rings. <laughs> like, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> and I didn't get fired. I didn't get okay. fired. <laughs> the Bird Show.